Hello and welcome. Oftentimes, when we are required to find the area of a triangle in which all the three sides are given, the easiest way to do it is by using Heron's formula. That is this formula. Area is equal to the square root of S multiplied by S minus A multiplied by S minus B multiplied by S minus C where A, B, and C are the three sides of the triangle, and S is equal to A plus B plus C divided by 2. But I'm sure you will agree with me that if we are to evaluate this formula using these three very irrational numbers, it's going to be a nightmare. So in this math tutorial, I am going to show you three very simple ways of finding the area of this triangle. Now, in the first method, we are going to include an angle and we are going to call it theta. We are going to call here side A. We are going to call here side D. And we are going to call here side C. And we are going to use the formula A is equal to B times C times sine theta divided by 2. That is B times C times sine theta divided by to, to find the area of this triangle. We know B and C. But before we can find sine theta, we must first of all find cos theta using the cosine rule. And of course, we know that for this triangle, we have that A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos theta. Substituting into this formula, we have a squared is root 13 squared. Of course, that is 13. Is equal to b squared is root 5 squared. And of course, that is 5. Plus c squared is root 10 squared. And of course, that is 10. Minus 2 times root 5 times root 10. That is root 50. Multiplied by cos theta. From here we have 13 is equal to 5 plus 10 is 15 minus 2 times root 50 is equal to 25 times 2 and we have cos theta. Now moving this over to the left hand side we have 13 minus 15 is equal to minus 2. Now, the square root of 25 is 5. So this is minus 2 times 5 times square root of 2 times cos theta. 13 minus 15 is minus 2. So here we have minus 2 is equal to minus 2 times 5 is minus 10. So we have minus 10 root 2 cos theta. And of course, dividing both sides of this equation by minus 10 root 2, we have that cos theta is equal to minus 2 over minus 10 root 2. Of course, minus will take care of minus. We know that 2 is equal to root 2 times root 2. And this is over 10 root 2. Here, root 2 is going to cancel root 2. And we have that cos theta is equal to root 2 over 10. Now that we have found cos theta, the next thing is to find sine theta. And of course, we can do that. Let us remember that cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. So from here we know that sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta. And of course we know that sine theta is going to be equal to the square root of 1 minus cos squared theta. And substituting into this we have sine theta is equal to the square root of 1 minus 
this is cos theta so we have root 2 over 10 squared this will be equal to 1 minus the square of root 2 is 2 and the square of 10 is 100 this is equal to the square root of 100 times 1 is 100 minus 2 is 98 over 100. Of course, this is equal to the square root of 98 over 10 because we know that the square root of 100 is 10. So this is the value of sine theta. We can now evaluate this formula. We have that the area of the triangle is equal to B is root 5. C is root 10. Sine theta is this. And of course, everything is divided by 2. This is equal to root 5 times root 10 is root 50 multiplied by root 98 all over 2 times 10. And of course, from here we have root 50 is 25 times 2. 98 is 49 times 2. All over 2 times 10. The square root of 25 is 5. Root 2. The square root of 49 is 7 root 2 all over 2 times 10. And of course, we know that root 2 times root 2 is equal to 2. So this and this is going to take care of this. This is 1 and this is 2. So we have that the area of this triangle is going to be equal to 7 over 2. The area is three and half square units. In the second method, we are going to use a variation of Heron's formula for special cases like this. And the formula says that the area of a triangle is equal to one over four times the square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared, all squared minus 2 times a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus c to the power 4. Now substituting into this formula, we have that the area of this triangle is equal to 1 over 4 times the square root of a squared, of course, is 13 plus b squared is 5 plus c squared is 10, everything squared, minus 2 times a to the power 4 is 13 squared, that is 169, plus b to the power 4 is 5 squared, that is 25, plus c to the power 4 is 10 squared, that is 100. From here, we have that the area is equal to 1 over 4 times the square root of 13 plus 5 is 18 plus 10, that is 28 squared, minus 2 times 25 plus 100 is 125. 125 plus 169, 5 plus 9 is 4. Carry one. Three plus six is nine. One plus one is two. This is 294. We have that the area of the triangle is equal to one over four multiplied by 28 squared is 784 minus two times four is eight. Two times nine is 18. Two times two is four plus one, five. 
area is equal to 1 over 4 multiplied by 784 minus 588 is 196. Area is equal to 1 over 4. The square root of 196 is 14. 2 into 4 is 2 and 2 into 14 is 7. So we have that the area is equal to 7 over 2 or 3 and half square units. And then the third and final method, which I think is the easiest. Notice that 13 is equal to 9 plus 4. 10 is equal to 9 plus 1. And 5 is equal to 4 plus 1. Of course, we can write this as square root of 13 squared is equal to 3 squared plus 2 squared. We can write this as square root of 10 squared is equal to 3 squared plus 1 squared. And we can write this as square root of 5 squared is equal to 2 squared plus 1 squared. And of course, you can see that these are three representations of the Pythagoras theorem. So that simply means that this triangle is contained inside a square. Here is root 13. Here is root 10. And here is root 5. This is 3. This is 1. This is 2. This is 1. This is 2 and this is 3. In the first case, we have this. That is this right angled triangle. 2, 3, root 13. 2, 3, root 13. In the second case, we have this right angled triangle. That is 1, 3, root 10. 1, 3, root 10. And in the last case, we have this right angled triangle. That is 1, 2, root 5. 1, 2, root 5. Of course, you can see that this is 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. And this is 3. So this is a square. So the area of this triangle is going to be the area of the whole square minus the area of this triangle, this triangle, and this triangle. And you know that calculating the area of right angle triangles is very, very easy. So that is how we are going to get the area of this triangle. Now remember that the area of a square is equal to length squared, and the area of a triangle is equal to half base times height. So the area of the shaded portion is going to be the area of the square minus the area of the three triangles. We have area of shaded portion is equal to 3 squared, which is 9, minus half 1 times 3. That is 3 plus half 2 times 3. That is 6 plus half 1 times 2. That is 2. This is equal to 9 minus, we can factorize half. Half into 3 plus 6 plus 2. This is equal to 9 minus half into 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 2, 11. Area of shaded portion is equal to 9 minus 11 over 2. 2 times 9 is 18. 18 minus 11 is 7. So this is 7 over 2, which is equal to 3 and half square 
units. And with that, we come to the end of this rather long tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.